Hello. Well, first thing I've got to do is apologise for my voice. I got man flu. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm feeling a bit worse away. Not really. Go back call. Uh, back to up. So uh, I'll carry on regardless. It's beautiful. It's beautiful self I said that. Carry on regardless. Them. So anyways. <coughs> Part two of the um, Star Wars lamp build, table lamp build. So those of you who are a bit of a stoot and a bit noticeable will notice that there's a good change. Well, there's two changes if you really, really look. Three changes if you really look. You won't see one of these. First change is Rebel symbol on the base. You see that? I put a bit more of a structure in the bottom. And I had the Rebel base, the Rebel. Symbol cut out of the base, a little bit of cleaning up left to do. And uh, yeah, it's a Rebel Alliance symbol from Star Wars. And then there, look, you see it there? I'm not touching it because it's hot. I'll show you again. See, it's a Star Wars. Also, see that hand. See? I've got a friend who does um, water jet. Well, it might be laser jet, I think it's water jet. I'm not sure. Laser, water, don't care. He does one or the other, I'm not sure. <clears throat> so what he does, yeah, he just cuts stuff out of laser jet. It's, uh, yeah. So I asked him a question, can he do it? He said, yeah. So he cut me these. See that? Star Wars. Three mil metal, three mil steel. I think these are steel. So the old verniers out of there. I should clean these. Like two mil this. Yeah. Star Wars are two mil. These are two mil. I've got two left. He also cut me two different sizes of the rebel symbol. So I've got a bigger one. So my intention for that, one of them, I'm going to make a frame. I don't know how yet. I'm going to cut a piece of steel, circular steel, to go around the back, to back this, to make it into a thing. And then I'm going to weld all that up like that. On a frame, I might do a frame similar to what I do on the normal ones that I make. We're actually that round bar, just a smaller circle. The intention is to make a clock. I think Star Wars, a clock would be quite cool. I've got them, I'll use them. Somebody will like it, somebody will buy them. I'll stash back up with it. What's a five? Stash that back up there. Oh, that's the place to make something with them. Oh, that way around. My good friend uh, <coughs> Ian Matthews sent me them. But, uh, to use them. I have something in mind. It's getting the time to do it as always. So now the other thing I've got left to do now is um, wire the damn thing. Put the lighting in it. So what I'm intending doing is um, I've got some um, red LED tip. I was going to put multi, multi, multi colour LED changing lights in it. If you uh, if you watch the original video, the, the, the build video, you'll see that I uh, came across a fault at the end, a problem at the end, um, and that was where to hide the uh, the controller. So I said I'd probably end up doing it single colour. I am. I'm going to do it red. I've got some red LED tape, so I might as well just do it red. So my intention is to cut a piece of um, steel that fits nicely into there, um, do all the LEDs on it, wear all the LEDs up because it can be a little bit fiddly. I really don't want to mess about inside there, and then some carpet tape, you know, double stick tape, stick it in, um, cable through there, out, down, there's a hole in the base there, come out of there, toggle switch, you know, a little light, light switch, away to the wall. The lamps themselves are 12 volt, uh, but I've got a little um, 240 volt out the wall, um, comes into that, converts that to 12 volt, and then away to the lamp. Um, so yeah. Um, I will, when I come back, I'll show you how to do that. Right, so, all done. I've got a piece of um, thin steel, same plate as that, as the, uh, the thing, and it will fit inside. So, and then <coughs> I covered both sides with uh, carpet tape, double stick tape. This stuff is sticky, it is uh, self adhesive. It does come with a self-adhesive on the back, but I've always found it to be pretty rough, pretty poor, not the best stuff to stick. So, 
cover the whole thing, cut it into links, stuck them on. I hoped to get five on, but I could only get four because it just didn't fit. Scored it, peeled off, scored it at the ends, peeled off the bit that uh, isn't needed. So <clears throat> we've got four four lengths, which should give us a really good light. What I've done, you can see, if you don't know about this tape, it's um, like a mid-diode. It's a single coloured, so it's an SMD. And where is it? There it is. You see that strip there? focus you see those dots it's no 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 I know it's not in focus but in the middle of those dots on the vertical line there's a scissor mark and you can chop it you can cut it in that mark there and then each individual section will still light up when it's rewired positive and negative <coughs> so what my intention to do now is to link each of those pieces together and then um, Oh, some speaker wire. Sorry, speaker wire. I don't think this is going to be long enough, to be honest. Yeah. Oh, I do have some. I'll be back. Right, we've got normal house plug, LED driver. It's just a two forty to twelve volt dropper. Twelve volt out. And we'll just come to that. I'm going to feed that up in. Into the uh, main factor water, disconnect it from there actually. So I'll just take the lid off. So I use decent quality stuff when I finish it, finish it. This is just a just to be working for now. And I'll just put that together off the screw back in there, we don't lose it. Honest. Right, so, put that bit out of the way. So then what we've got to do, we've got to link each of these, <coughs> each of these dots. It's tedious, it's a pin, but it is what it is. Oh, we'll get that, no we don't, we'll get them. Everything's covered in crap. Uh, we'll get the wire strippers out. I've got this little black wire. I don't know what colour the wire is, does it? It's uh, it's as long as as long as it's um, put to the same polarity, so negative to negative, etc. etc. Just now trying to work out the length that we can wear, which is only gonna be small. And there's only gonna be a few of them. Quite a few. I reckon about that long. So Well, I could do it that way actually. If I piggyback from that way, I just trim out. Yeah, we'll do it that way. So we need one, two, three, four for each polarity. Two, three, four. What I'll do is I'll just do positive and then I don't need to film doing negative because it's exactly the same and you don't need to see me do it because you see me do negative or positive you see me do it to the one aren't you only problem with running with short wires is it when you, when you start stripping you've got a real habit of pulling the wires through which is a pain in the posterior, if you're not careful. And also, when it comes to tinning these wires, you burn your fingers. Uh, anybody who watches my channel knows I'm very, very good at burning myself. So there we go for that. All right, what we'll do then is what I tend to do. This is how I do it. All right. I'll move in a second to show you. I do it like this. I tap my soldering iron down. Where's my solder gone? Not a lot of solder left. So, all I do <coughs> is wrap two of them together. <laughs> oh. Okay, well, put it on there. Like 
spin on that. And I'll leave it to cool, because I've just put my fingers. Like I said I would. I'm going to have to loosen that one off, because it's gone wrong. And again, burning pinkies, horrible, horrible things to do, horrible. There's not much else I can do, there's no other way of really doing it, just getting on with it and burn my fingers, it's just terrible. But, um, just squish that one into place. Oh, one Oh God, what a problem I've got in there. I actually, uh, actually ground off the end of the pliers, uh, the, the grip of the pliers when I was making roses, so I didn't damage the roses and now I can't grip anything. <laughs> Welding. We need to somehow get them two together. Briefly heat them up. And then they should stick together. I'm not persuaded for a little bit more solder. said fiddly as hell but and it didn't hold so we're just going to bottle it out are we or maybe not <laughs> what can we use what can we use guys It's back by the sounds of it. Ow, ow, ow. A texture. Did you know? Yeah. But it didn't text me back. What are you doing? Interrupted by the wife. Sauce. I just realised that I uh, did two one of many loops. I only need three loops. What do I need to do? Hi oh. pal, you alright? Yeah. Um, <coughs> what do I need to do? Over in this, uh, not black to black, so we'll turn that one, tin it even, and then we'll try and 
Still, still doing it. So, next one. What I'm going to do now is each individual dot, <coughs> well, I'll put it to you and show you, but each individual dot needs to be. Uh, Tinned. That's right. Mama, have to check for two feet. One second. Sounds like you're getting your voice back. Not really. Around. The voice, yes, I have. Several times. <coughs> Hold on to stuff while I'm cutting things. See ya. <coughs> so, then what we do then is we take our bits that we're done, we lay them on. So they're all, they're all link solid now. It's a pain in the ass. You see that? So they've got some negatives done. I just need to do it again. I'm not going to film it because it's pointless you uh, sitting there and watching me film it. I'll do it, come back and show you. <coughs> right, so my wife's decided to cut the grass. I appreciate her cutting the grass. Really bad timing on the, on, on the part of this video. So there you go anyway, all the links are done. Each, each strips are linked to each other, positives and negatives, all done. My intention to run a, a piece of, a little bit of uh, hot melt glue uh, over the terminals, over the, over the joins for the solders. Um, means for that, it's only 12 volt, it ain't going to be an issue if you touch it or anything like that, but if somebody was to stick some metal or something it shorts across, it could pop fuses and point of sticking a risk. So if I run a piece of some hot melt across there, it just puts a barrier uh, between the two. It should be good then, to be uh, safe uh, um, So, I haven't switched it on. I've, I've rewired it to the uh, transformer. I haven't switched it back on yet. So, I will go and switch it on now. I've just seen a major, major fault. It will still work. This tape is 24 volt tape. That's a bummer. So, it's not going to be that bright. That's a bummer. Just notice that. 24 volt tape. This is what I use in the trucks. So it could be a pain in the butt, so this might, well, it'll light up, but it's not going to be as bright as it should do. Now let's just turn it off and light it up, we'll see what happens. There you go, see if it works. Oh, there it does. Oh, we've got a section out there, look. I'm going to have to buy some decent tape. See that section of light, strip, strip of light there? There's a fault somewhere in that strip. Well, <coughs> it's an easy one to repair, because what we can do... What I can do, what I can do, what I can do. Even while it's still switched on, I can take out that section. <coughs> I can put in another section. Which is not 
difficult to do. Knock out the shoulders. It's trying to light, so I'm going to get short in some way. We'll take out that bit. So then I'll just do I join that and got all the lights in. Like I say, it's, it might be enough actually. We shall I'll fit it. I'll fit it and we'll see what it's like. So I'll come back once it's fitted and uh, we'll have a look then. Catch you in a bit. So as you can hear, the wife's still doing the alarm. Four volts here, it's bright enough. Personally, what do you think? I think it's quite cool as a night light, kids' night light. I think it's come out quite nice. The uh, Star Wars lights up nicely at the end. Let me uh, see that. The Star Wars lights up nicely. A few little bits just to finish. Made some a toggle switch with decent wearing and stuff like that just to finish it and wire it properly. But I'm, uh, I'm pretty damn chuffed, really. I think I'll stick with the 24 volt tape. Now the lights are off. I wasn't so sure before. But, um, yeah, quite good. Happy. I think it's good. Yeah. Thanks for watching. On to the next one. Bye.